Topic 1. Seizure Disorders and Epilepsy by Teacher Anis. Hi guys, okay, today we are going to talk about seizure disorder and epilepsy. Okay, what is seizure? Seizure is a temporary and involuntary change of consciousness, behavior, motor activity, sensation, or automatic functioning. Okay, but what is epilepsy? Epilepsy is a chronic neurologic condition of recurrent seizures that occur with or without the presence of other brain of abnormalities. There are two types of seizure. First is generalized seizure, which involves the entire cerebral cortex. While the second one is partial seizure, which begin in a single location and remain limited or spread to become more generalized. There are five generalized seizures. The first one is tonic-clonic. The second one is myoclonic. The third one is atonic forms, fourth absence, and the last one is a typical absence. What does it mean by tonic-clonic? Okay, tonic-clonic type occurs most frequently. And a child having a tonic-clonic seizure may have an aura or sensation that the seizure is about to begin. This non-specific seizure can occur at any age and involves excessive neuronal firing from both hemisphere in a symmetric pattern. This is usually followed by a loss of consciousness during which the body becomes rigid or tonic and then rhythmic clonic contraction of all the extremities occur in continence is common. The seizure may last 5 minutes and is followed by a post period that may last 1 to 2 hours during which the child is drowsy or in a deep sleep. Okay, the second type of generalized seizure is absent seizure. It is characterized by a momentary loss of awareness and the absence of motor activity except eye blinking or rolling. There is no aura. The seizure usually lasts less than 30 seconds and there is no postical period. The onset of this seizure occurs in the first decade of life. Abrupt interruption of an activity, a glazed look, stress, and unawareness of surrounding characterize a child having an absent seizure. This may be mistaken for daydreaming. Absent seizures are uncommon in children and early adolescents, accounting for only 5% of all seizures. On to the next, the two other mild forms of generalized seizure are myoclonic seizure, which consists of contractions by single muscle or small group of muscle. And the last one is a kinetic seizure, in which the primary problem is a loss of muscle tone. Children rarely have serious seizure for an extended period, about 30 minutes or longer. The extended seizure are called status epilepticus and requires medical management to maintain body function and hydration. <laughs> On to the next, partial seizure. Partial seizure can be either simple or complex and are the most common type of seizure disorder found in childhood. Approximately 60% of cases are partial seizure. An individual may experience both generalized and partial seizure, which is called a mixed seizure disorder. What exactly is a complex partial seizure? In complex partial seizure, which usually originate in the temporal lobe, children may show automatic reactions such as lip smacking, 
chewing and buttoning and unbuttoning of clothing. These seizures are focal and the characteristics are similar to those of absence seizure. In addition, the individual may appear to be confused and disorganized and may have some sensory experiences such as smelling and tasting items not in the environment and hearing sounds of various types. As for the simple partial seizure, simple partial seizure usually involve the motor cortex and result in clonic activity of the face and extremities. Psychic symptoms include visual hallucination, illusion, auditory hallucination, or olfactory sensation. The typical seizure includes nighttime awakenings and twitching of facial muscle. This twitching interferes with speech and spreads to the hand. As for now, that's all from me for topic 1, seizure disorder and epilepsy. Thank you.